Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Pharmacypedia. In this session, we are going to learn a topic from the subject industrial pharmacy that is pre-formulation. Pre-formulation is a very important topic. Since it is a very big topic, I am going to do it in parts. So in this part, we are going to discuss about what is a pre-formulation studies, why do we actually carry out the pre-formulation studies, what are the goals and objectives of undergoing the pre-formulation studies, what are the physical and chemical parameters that needs to be understood before going for the actual formulation studies. So let us try to understand the different characteristics, different attributes of pre-formulation studies. This is a very interesting topic. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, uh, I would like you to please like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting further updates about new videos, new informations. This channel is exclusively made for the pharmacy students and I really want them to succeed. So, let us begin with our today's topic that is about the pre-formulation studies. So what are pre-formulation studies? As the term indicate pre-formulation, it means before going for the formulation. So before uh, going for the actual formulation studies, we need to understand what are the physical properties, what are the chemical properties of the drug substance. See, our primary objective is to formulate the active pharmaceutical ingredient into a desired dosage form. Now, the, you can understand we have two things in our hand. First is our active pharmaceutical in ingredient and second is what in what dosage form we actually want to when, uh, we produce it. So, we need to convert our API into the desired dosage form through this formulation studies. So, uh, you can understand in a simple way before going for the formulation, we need to understand what are the characteristics behavior of these API which can actually help you to understand its properties. What kind of the properties? We are basically concerned in understanding the physical properties and as well as the chemical properties of the drug substance. So pre-formulation is a simple phase, simple phase of the study in which we try to understand the physical properties like solubility, melting point, a pH, pH, a, a, uh, other properties, other physical properties and uh, chemical properties such as its oxidation, reduction, hydrolysis, racemization, polymerization. So these are the chemical. Altogether, we are actually trying to understand our molecule so that we can easily formulate in, into a desired dosage forms. So you can now simply understand, so prior going to the development of the tablets, capsules or injection or any other dosage form, it is very essential that we should know the fundamental physical and chemical properties of the drug. So this information is provided by the doing actually the pre-formulation studies. So the first learning phase is known as the pre-formulation studies. So pre-formulation is a proactive phase that deals with the transformation of the new chemical entity into safe, effective and most importantly stable pharmaceutical formulation. So dear viewers, you can understand three things are very important when we are actually going for the pre-formulation. We should understand the stability, safety and efficacy of the drug molecule. So how far it is safe, how far it is stable, how far it, it is actually efficacious. So once we understand these primary properties, it will become very easy for us to design it into a, the desired dosage form. So let us try to understand in this simple flowchart, what is the process of undergoing such type of the studies. So once a new molecule is being derived, the basic physicochemical characterization of the drug is being done. Then after that, the next step is to actually calculate out the toxicological study to how much extent the dose is actually toxic. What is the therapeutic window that is being determined? Once that we have the dose with us, we actually, and the next step is to go for the pre-formulation studies. So once the pre-formulation study is, is done, then we go for the actual formulation studies. So Simultaneously, we try to understand the compatibility studies with the various other excipients so that the formulation becomes easy. So once the formulation is being done, you have the desired dosage form which actually goes further for the drug approval and marketing purpose. 
so the, it is very simple once you have the new chemical entity you can go for the pre uh, pre uh, formulation studies or if you have the existing generic drug you can again go for the pre formulation studies if you really wish to de uh, actually develop it into another dosage form for example from tablets to the capsules or from capsules to the in injectable dosage form you need every time you need uh, you actually go for another dosage form you need to actually understand the pre-formulation studies. You need to carry out the pre-formulation studies. So pre-formulation study is a phase which is initiated once the new molecule is seeded out. So in a broader way, it deals with the study of physical, chemical, analytical and pharmaceutical properties related to the molecules and provides us the idea about the suitable modification in the molecule to see a better performance. So I hope now you are clear what is the importance of carrying out the pre-formulation studies. So the importance as far as the pre-formulation study is concerned is, is in pre-formulation study is very critical, it's very important because you should know the desired attributes because you are going to formulate it into the desired dosage forms. Simultaneously, it also achieves a high degree of uniformity, physiological availability and therapeutic qualities. Because we want to develop an optimum dosage form, we want to go for a targeted drug delivery system or for the pa pa better patient compliance to have the minimized cost of the finished product to minimize errors in the formulation dosage forms. For pre-formulation studies are very important. Before, without undergoing for the pre-formulation studies, if you go directly for the formulation studies, you can uh, actually uh, have a uh, you can actually have a lot of wastage of time since if you don't understand the physical and chemical properties of the drug substance you cannot formulate it into proper way into the formulation studies it can actually turn out to be a disaster so we sh this is the first approach pre-formulation before going for the actual formulation it is very much desired that one should undergo pre-formulation studies which sh one should know each and every characteristic attribute of the uh, active pharmaceutical in this ingredient so that it can be actually uh, undertaken various other uh, research studies with the excipients and formulated it into a desired dosage forms. So when we carry out the pre-formulation studies, we basically focus on four areas. First is the analytical studies, second physical characterization, third chemical characterization and fourth the pharmaceutical properties. This we are going to discuss in detail about in our other sessions as well. So these four studies we did study in detail when we carry out the actual pre-formulation studies. So the goals and objectives of undergoing the pre-formulation studies is that we, we actually gain the information and determine about the physical chemical properties of the new drug entity. We also establish the kinetics and the stability part of the active pharmaceutical ingredient. We also get to know and understand the compatibility with the excipients. We also understand the development of the formulation in a proper way. We also can understand if we need to go ahead for any sort of the drug bioavailability increase or to increase the drug stability. So many times it is being done that the formulation dosage forms are being done or like bioavailability enhancement is required or solubility enhancement is required. It again becomes very easy if we carry out uh, the pre-formulation studies in a proper way. It is simple that when you have to have the final product into a quality form, you should have the quality of best quality of the API. If you have the best quality of the API, if you have the best quality of the excipients, you automatically you will have the best quality of the dosage form. We need to understand each and every characteristics because this is really go going to help you in the development of our final dosage form. So when we talk about the physical chemical characterization of the drug substance we will we are going to discuss further in our next session about the bulk characterization, crystallinity and polymorphism, hygroscopicity, fine particle characterization, bulk density, powder flow properties. We are go also going to understand about the solubility analysis, ionization constant, pH solubility profile, common ion effects, thermal effects, solubilization, partition coefficient and dissolution properties. Apart from that, the stability analysis, stability in toxicology formulations, 
solution stability which is very important ph rate profile solid state stability bulk stability and compatibility so all these studies are being undertaken when we carry out the pre formulation studies thank you so much for watching my video please do like share and subscribe to pharmacypedia for getting further updates in our in subsequent sessions we are going to discuss in detail about the pre formulation studies other aspects ranging from the physical chem uh, physical characterization chemical characterization and stability analysis so uh, please do like share and subscribe to pharmacypedia thank you so much for watching my video